Welcome! This week we bring you an awesome game to teach reading and writing. Don't miss how to make this world computer. Your kids will love it. Teach how to read with El Gato Ringo and La Gata Moon. To make this activity we will need Velcro, two pieces of cardboard, thick tape, scissors, two sets of letters which can be stickers like ours or written by you, and images that you have at home. For the letters, we're going to use stickers that we will laminate so that they last longer. If you don't have a laminator, you can protect them by putting a layer of tape over them. You can also write the alphabet on a cardboard to make it more resistant. Once we have it, we're going to put Velcro behind each letter, and then we will cut them out to have them separately. Remember that when we do things with Velcro, we always put the rough side on the elements that we're going to be moving, like the letters now and leave the smooth side on the other part of the material. Remember to subscribe to our channel to see many more videos like this one. We have lots of ideas to teach how to read. Don't miss the playlist we'll leave in the description of the video. As I said, we cut out each letter separately. And now we have them all. Look how beautiful! Now I'm turning them over to put the other side of the velcro to create our keyboard. But just turning over a few of them would have been enough. Now you'll see. As I mentioned before, we put the soft part behind. There. Just stick it now on the cardboard and it will stay where we like it. And now on the cardboard we place the letters where we think it looks best, calculating the space so that they all fit. Since I see that I can fit 8 letters per row, I calculate that I need 7 rows in total to fit the 54 letters that I have. You can also put the soft velcro directly on the cardboard and then put the letters on top. But I prefer to calculate first how many rows of velcro I needed. In my computer, I've included the letter Ñ, so that it will work in Spanish. But if you do it just for English, you obviously don't need it. Now let's repair our laptop screen. We're going to take the other piece of cardboard and we're going to glue a piece of black letter paper on top of it. You can also put a black cardboard or leave it as it is, whatever you prefer. Now we calculate the space that we need for the things we'll put on the screen. Below an image and above the words. In my case, I want my kids to make words up to six letters, so I'm going to put six pieces of soft velcro. And so that the image is well centered, we put the rough velcro on it and hook the smooth part to it, and now we put it where we want. Perfect! This is how the screen looks without any letters or images. Now we're going to assemble it with a keyboard. We place it like this and join one part with the other. And with a long piece of thick tape, we're going to join the two cardboards. Perfect! And now we can open and close our laptop. Now, so that it stays open and doesn't move, we're going to put another small piece of cardboard like this, like a photo frame. We stick it with a little bit of tape, and that's it! And before we show you how to use it, we remind you that we have lots of downloadable educational resources on our website. They're perfect to use with the kids in class, or to review the concepts that they need at home. Don't miss it! We'll leave the link in the description. Let's continue decorating our computer. We put Katarimu and Gatimu, of course, and a little sign to know that it is a word computer. And now we can get down to practicing word building. There are many ways to play. One option is to put the image at the bottom, and they're the ones who have to build the word, looking for the letters by themselves. Another option is to do this in class and teams, and they have to build the words first to win. They love that version. You can set the difficulty you want on the words, depending on the level of your kids. And another easier option would be to give them the word, and they would have to read it, understand it, and look for the corresponding image. What do you think of this game to learn how to read and write? Since it's a computer, it's very attractive and they will want to play a lot. 
You know that to teach something as complex as reading and writing, it's very important to offer them motivating and fun materials that invite them to want to learn. And as every week, it's time for the round of greetings. This week, they're for Luli, another greeting for Ruhi, and another one for Lautaro and her brother Ezequiel. We hope you liked today's video. Remember that it's already uploaded in Spanish too to our channel. And then next week, we will upload a new idea. See you soon!